Classes have ended for today. Waiting for Nato. Rize, are you down here? Nope. I'm assuming Kanji's not available either. All right. Head to town. Take my ass to the beach. And maybe that unlocks the uh the quest for the guy. Take a long ride. One thing that I never get about this is that the last time we took a long ride, we ended up at the same place, but you have to take it a third time for your character to get off the bike and go like, I'm at the beach. Courage has increased. You now travel to the beach. I will return to Inaba. All right. Head to the floodplain, see if that unlocked the quest for me. Maybe that's what I was missing. Oh, it's you. How goes the fishing? Oh, shit. Never mind. You have the thing over your head. I think it might have been... Hold up. Have I... Have I actually, like, catch bugs and fish before? I, I don't... Let me see if I catch some bugs. Maybe that's what's holding. Holding out. Because it's the shade, the air here is moist. Yes? Oh, I gotta talk to the kid. Hey, you have my net. Where can I catch bugs? Cool. How to catch bugs. Alright, there we go. I think maybe that's why I didn't activate... I haven't actually caught any bugs. The only bugs I got was from the shopping channel, and it's the uh, Genji beetles, which I think are the ones that I need for the River Guardian. I think they're the ones I need for the River Guardian. Because the Inaba Jewel beetles is, I, is the ones that you need for the, um... <clears throat> for the sea. All right, let me talk to you. What the fucking what, man? Hmm. All right. Let me see what the hell's going on here. <clears throat> Expert fishing. Boost your speed. Uh, finish reading to be able to fish more. Yeah, okay. Catching bugs, be able to catch more bugs. I don't think you need to read any of these books to actually help you, but I'll grab them just in case, you know? We have like a shit ton of time to finish that last request for the fox, so I'm not really in a rush for it. Uh, shrine. But I think because I haven't actually, like, fished. No, I, I fished before. Maybe it's because I just haven't caught bugs. Because I caught the redfishes. Or did I buy them from the shopping channel? Alright. What'd I get? Dynamo Grasshopper, Dynamo Grasshopper, Stag Beetle, Tissimi Ladybug. Riverbank. I'm gonna try fishing. It's probably what it is. But, I know I got the Genji Beetles on me, I just wanna make sure what the hell they are for. Oh, here we go. Genji beetle. To attract lots of tuna. And that's it. Okay. Alright, well I'm gonna... Pass for now. 
Maybe if I just... Alright, I guess I'm gonna have to spend the time to actually fish. Oh, there's a cat with me. That's the first time I've seen that cat there. Red crumbs. And Tetsumi and Ladybug. And Ladybug. Alright. Cool. No, I'm good. I don't need to fish anymore. I just wish that fishing didn't take a whole fucking day. I also remember when I was platinuming uh, Persona back. 5. I think I platinumed the first Persona 5. I didn't platinum Royal, though. But when I was platinuming Persona 5, I remember where it's like, get a trophy for fishing, and I went, wait a minute. You can fish in this game? Since hey. when? When I figured that out, I was like, oh my god, there's a lot in Persona 5 that I just didn't do. Holy shit. Um, yeah, talk to Dojima. I don't know why I hesitated there. Dojima's just so much of a man that I got scared. Alright. Great baton work is the most important part of relay. Keep practicing. It doesn't matter how fast you run, if you drop the baton, you'll lose valuable time. Just keep passing the baton until you reach the anchor. It's fundamental, but difficult. By the way, the word anchor was originally used in a different track... <clears throat> used in a different track and field sport. How about a question for another Kami? Which of these sports was an anchor? Um... Tug of War? You got it, you. The player supporting the end of the rope was acting as an anchor, was thus wait what, and was thus called sub. It crossed over into other sports, and so the last runner in the relay is also called that. All right, one more time with you in the with you as the anchor. Ready, go. Let's see, even when you do the mini games, the fishing, baseball, the baseball one was fun. I like the baseball minigame. I think everybody likes the baseball minigame. It's not enough time to do them. Yeah, that was the problem with... Dude. When Persona 5 came out, right? And fucking... And, like, I get that it's a whole meme of Morgana going, like, you're tired, go to sleep, whatever, right? But after playing Persona 3 and Persona 4 and fucking... And if you played, if you played those games and got all the social links without a guide... Like, if you never used a guide for that, because me, I've never used a guide for it, and I know a bunch of people who haven't either. Like, when you were playing Persona 5, you get, like, this... You get this instant feeling of, like, even though you can't 100% at your first playthrough, you kind of still want to do it, right? I mean, technically, you can if you're, like, really, really good at, you know, what you're doing. If you have it all planned out. But, you know, you kind of get that feeling in you. I remember my first playthrough of Persona 5, like, in the in the palaces, everyone's like, come on, come on, Akira, we'll, we're dying, man. And I'm like, I don't care. Limp your ass to the fucking save room, come on. We're doing it all in one take. You can't stop me. I'm not wasting time. And then after that, you would go home and fucking Morgana's just like, man, you're tired. And I'm like, Morgana, I don't have time for this. I literally, I'm, I'm having a panic attack because you won't let me fucking go outside. And then when Royal came out and they're like, oh, you can do some, you can spend time, like, in the shop now at night. It's like, oh, well, yeah, it became way easier in Royal because now you can actually do activities, like, when your character is quote-unquote tired. It was really good. It was fun. Now, here's the thing I fucking hate about this quest. It's raining right now, right? Oh, by the way, is Kanji available? Sometimes on rainy days he'll be available. Sometimes. No, okay. Um, it's raining right now. Here's what I hate about the fox request sometimes. Is because it's raining, I can't actually talk to the fucking guy out here because he's not here. So I guess the quest wouldn't really be activated. But when it's raining, you want to you wanna fish. Because then fucking, you know... You get the Guardian when it's raining. When it's raining or when it's, like, snowing outside. And I don't even think I have the... I don't even have the fucking... The bug for it. 
the bait for the goddamn thing, because you have to talk to him first to unlock the bait. It's a pain in the ass, so I guess I'll just do the rainy day beef bowl challenge. Hmm. Thankfully, they had an option for infinite baseball later on. Exactly, right? <laughs> Too bad there was no infinite darts. I think they did that. Did they do that in Royal? I think I think uh, the whole area they added in Royal, where you can head to like kind of a kind of like a not an arcade area, but it's like a lounge area that you hang out with your pals. You can play darts against them. Persona Five had darts, and then fucking Final Fantasy Seven Remake had darts, and I was like, damn it, why are these games throwing darts out now? Yeah, the whole area is for Royal. Yeah, I think I think at that point they were like, because you could do. Were you able to do darts before that? No, you weren't. No, you weren't. I don't think you were. No. Yeah, no, you weren't. <laughs> it was only for Royal. Royal's great. Royal's great. Royal's great, and it's sad because every year, every year I make it a point to like head over to the PlayStation trophy stuff and just see what the stats are for the people getting trophies in that game. And I think, I think finally the first Persona 5, like Persona 5 Vanilla finally has made it over 50%. And I mean 50% for people who got the trophy just to finish the fucking game. <laughs> it's like half the people who bought this fucking finished the game. And then Royal is like only, only like, 31% of people who bought this finished the game, and it's like, Jesus, guys. It's like, come on. Finish the damn game. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> Once per stream, gotta read it. You accepted the rainy day special Mega Beef Bowl challenge. You still can't see the rice. You begin to suspect that your bowl is a portal to the meat dimension. The amount of meat contained within the bowl is truly staggering. In order to finish this bowl, you must have understanding of your limits, knowledge to control your pace, courage to face those unrelenting tides of beef, and the diligence to persevere against this colossal challenge. All these traits are necessary to master the rainy day special mega beef bowl challenge. You are unable to finish your meal at this current state. It's a tongue twister when reading that. You tried your best to finish the rainy day special mega beef bowl challenge, and your personality has grown tremendously. Your knowledge has increased, your courage has increased, your diligence has increased. By the end of this playthrough, I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna finish it. I'm gonna eat that fucking bowl. Sleeping, sleeping kids grow tall, and eating kids grow wide. Not you and my daughter, though. Eat, exercise, and get plenty of rest. That's the secret to staying healthy. There's a feeling I get in like the pit of my stomach, like an like a like a unnecessary feeling of hatred I get whenever someone talks to me about the main character from Persona 5 and they're like, you know, like some people call him Joker, right? That's the easiest way to do it. But then when someone goes, oh, yeah, Rin from Persona 5, like a part of me just goes, no, no, that's from the anime. Stop calling him that. Rin doesn't exist. It's Akira. It's Akira Kurusu, damn it. <laughs> His name's not Ren. Stop it. I'll kill you. Oh, who the hell is calling me? Or texting me? From Kanji. Hey, senpai, you like movies? There's this new movie called Dachiko Story. I'm a sucker for movies about dogs. If you're gonna see it, would you let me know so, we, uh, so I can come too? Cool. Um, can I work at the, can I work at the fucking, as a janitor tonight? I don't think so. Tutoring? I don't have any, like, tower shit with me, right? I mean, it's not, it's not that crazy. Like, I don't, I don't expect myself to finish shoes thing on this playthrough, honestly. Shit, I keep pressing that button. Moon, Sun, Justice, Temperance, Emperor. 
Star Devil Lovers. Eh, I mean, I got a free spot, so might as well. Might as well just add it in. Gotta have at least one tower persona. Hey, it's a poem! Something is different. Marie's nowhere to be found. Hmm? It's another piece of paper on the floor. Something's written in a... <clears throat> Something's written in a violet handwriting. My list. The hated. People who are all talk. Lying grown-ups. Keeping up appearances. Hypocrites. Myself. I hate myself. Dumbass. The light. Animals. Only cute ones, though. Like cats. Milk tea. I like lemon too, though. Black, blue, gray too. Only dark gray. And me. Listen, I gotta get props for. First of all, I bet the voice work for that was embarrassing as fuck, <laughs> right? Just in the booth watching someone listen to you go, dislikes myself. I hate myself. Dumbass. Right? <laughs> and then fucking... But I get props to Persona Q. Because they just straight up shit all over Marie. They're just like, yo, who the fuck wrote this? They say, yo, loser has to read this fucking poem. Must be another of Marie's poems. <laughs> what is this? I told you not to read these. Why do you keep reading them? Are you stupid or something? Idiot. This is just a note. A note. Do you understand? I said it. A note. I think you see Margaret's eyes narrow, but only for an instant. You're at the top of my list now. I hate you so much, you lying hypocrite. Just please stop reading these. Marie returns to her seat, blushing furiously. I fucking... I lost my train of thought. What the hell did I come here for? A tower? I think so. Tower. I gotta have at least one, right? Oh my fucking god, I don't. Uh-oh. That's bad. Star mixed with... Temperance. Oh shit, that's hero. None of you motherfuckers give me a tower, huh? Ah, oh, whatever. I'm not worried about it. My mind quickly starts going into, especially since today, since I was fucking stressed for time and completing all the social links, my mind it instantly just goes to it. It's like, but I gotta get all the personas. I gotta do it. You tutor Chu. Can you teach me this? With regards to question four here, why does it use this formula? <laughs> Spongebob has ruined me. Whenever I hear the word formula now, it's just fucking Mr. Krabs going, ME FORMULA! <laughs> he tried to explain to him in a way that he could understand, because he's fucking dumb. Isn't this cheesecake delicious? I fucking hate cheesecake. I bought it from an online shop that's all the rage these days. It's been in the top ranked store for 15 weeks straight. Just like Shuchan, first place in everything. Mom! Stop it. But you're my pride and joy. So, Yuku, about Shu. Do you think he could make it into Tokyo University? I don't want him to even have to have any heart. Wait, whoa, 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 I just had a stroke. I don't want him to even have to have any hardships. Once he's in a good college, he's set, right? <laughs> college <laughs> uh, uh, that's funny everyone has a natural talent she just happens to be how smart he is I just want him to go to a good college so he can get a good job then buy a good house and find a good mom don't you worry about me mom I'm always on top I am right now, and I always will be. 
That's right. He really is perfect child. Shu's mom continues to lavish, uh, to lavish praise on her son. My child's the best. Mister. If, Mister. If I get into a good college, am I really set? Fucking no. How would you know? You're not even in college yet. How would you know? You're locked in your goddamn room all day. She sneers at you. Whatever, bitch. I don't really need to be set just yet. I don't really know what that's supposed to mean anyways. So why did you ask me? Well, I need to study. There's no point in asking about college unless I'm really smart. She's looking down. Raison d'etre. Do you even know what that means? Actually, I do. Huh. I'm surprised. Well, it makes sense since... Well, I think I know what raison d'etre means. I'm pretty sure it just means like... Like, uh... Not your natural talent, but like, the thing you're best at. You know? Basically the opposite of a jack of all trades. It's irrelevant. It might just be natural talent. I only have mom and the guys at school. Uh, if I, why did I stop there? And the guys at school are all kids. It seems that Shu has opened his heart to you, if only a little. You feel that your relationship with Shu has deepened slightly. You know what, actually? Where's my phone? Let's learn something today, guys. Let's increase our vocabulary. Let's do that. Raison d'etre. It means the most important reason or purpose for someone or something to exist. Oh. So it's not your talent. It's... Okay. I always heard it used in the form of, like, someone going, like... You know, usually someone says something like, oh, carpeting is my raison d'etre, or some shit like that. So I, in the context of that, I always thought it was like, what you're talented at, what you're good at, but it's your reason for living. That's cool. Hmm, time's already up. We were still in the middle of the last question. Well, I'll still help you. Why not? Fuck it. You don't have enough diligence. What the fuck? I'm like... One point away from Max? Oh, time's already up. And we'll wait till next time. I see. Well, until then. Take care now. You need you need you need more diligence to be a nice person. It's like if you have a private trainer or something like that, and like you're in the middle of a fucking rep, and he's like spotting you, and then he's like, oh, time's up, and he just walks away from the fucking rack. <laughs> And let you let you just deal with that by yourself. Midterms are studying on Friday next week. Are you guys studying hard or hardly studying? Hmm. Well, let's get back to basics then. Let's look at the world map. Take note that Japan is in the center of the Japanese maps. Other countries center their maps in different places. Where would you fit Japanese on a map made in foreign? Excuse me, made in a foreign country. Well, let's see, Amagi-san. No, I feel bad about that, so Hanamura! What? You don't feel bad about asking Yukiko, but not me? I don't even know what he's talking about. Do you know the answer to you? We would be on the... On the right side. Oh, you got it! I believe uh, I believed in you, really. Yes, in the foreign world maps, Japan is placed on the eastern edge. Now you know why it's called. <clears throat> Gotta clear my throat. Now you know why they call this part of Asia the Far East. Foreign maps are designed to be centered on the Prime Meridian at zero degrees of longitude. Longitude, longitude. Oh, I see. Thanks, you. Cool. It's raining today. Oh, it's raining today, so I can't even talk to the fucking old man. I can't even go get some bugs. What can I do today, then? 
I can eat at the shop again. I went to the practice building to see if Kanji was here. He's not, and I don't think I can hang out with Rizé on rainy days at all. Right? Yeah, of course not. Guess it's time to just go put that meat in my mouth. I had to move my microphone. I'm not sure if it got picked up on that. It probably did. I rotated my microphone. Probably made a noise. Not a good one. Alright. Get my courage up. Understanding, knowledge, courage. Ah, shit. Maybe I can uh, maybe I can buy another book for my courage. And now the weather. Yay! Story progression after. Three hours of streaming, holy shit, really? The week ended on a wet note as rain clouds moved into the area. As a result, a thick fog is expected to form in the Inaba region later tonight. It seems that the fog will set in tonight. Alright, well, I'm gonna take my ass upstairs. Actually, before that, anything in the fridge? Nothing catches your eye. Damn it. It's midnight. No one is appearing on the Midnight Channel. Since Naoto has been rescued, it seems the killer was thwarted this time. Confound it all. Thwarted again. Meanwhile, in the foggy shopping district. Oh my god, it's the killer! Damn it, again! I was thwarted. For the fourth time. Are you feeling better now? I'm gonna get up and stretch while this is happening. Because I've been sitting in this chair for a while. Yes, thanks to all of you. I'd like to thank you once again for what happened. Don't mention it. But hey, your uniform. Huh? Ah, uh, yes. After contemplating the matter, I went with what I've been wearing thus far. There's no need for you to... Hey, it's the Detective Prince. That's no prince. I heard he's a she. <laughs> it's so funny, right? I heard he's a she. Everyone make fun of him. Huh? Y you serious? If he's a she, then... Uh, oh, crap! Uh, kind of disappointed. But then again, there's something neat about it. Yeah, if you look at it a certain way, doesn't she seem pretty cool? My, my. Rumors spread so quickly. Eh, just ignore them. Actually, you know, I'm on your side. I don't know, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter not to... Eh, fuck it, just ignore them. Whatever. Yes. I'm myself, right? That aside, I'd like to discuss the case with you all. We're dealing with a kidnap and murder case perpetrated by someone lurking in this very town. And it isn't over yet. Let's go over the finer points after school. Juna's food court. First, I heard the doorbell ring. But when I opened the front door, I saw no one there. Just as alarm bells sounded in my mind, someone grabbed me roughly from behind and covered my mouth with something. Hello. Let's... Refrain from making jokes. I'm gonna refrain. 
Immediately afterward, I was put into something like a sack and most likely carried on the culprit's shoulder. Wow, how could you remember all that? The culprit seems to have used a chemical to incapacitate me, but luckily I wasn't completely unconscious. I had been expecting a trick along those lines, so I was somewhat prepared. And of course, I was desperate to gather as much information as I could. No wonder you're an ace detective! That ain't something to be proud of. You are too damn calm about all this. Judging by their actions and body type, I'd say the culprit is definitely a man. I heard no conversations or voices, so I believe he is acting alone. It's after that that things get murky. I felt a single impact, which I assume is when I was thrown inside the TV. But the time from kidnapping to that point seemed too short. It was a matter of minutes. So you were immediately thrown inside the TV after being kidnapped. Oh, could there have been a TV on the side of the road? Regrettably, my memory from there on is a blur. I see. But man, the killer came right up to the door and rang the bell. That's just crazy. So crazy that it worked. I finally understand why you all testified that you couldn't recall much of what happened. Such a bizarre experience with mental and physical fatigue on top of it. It's only natural to be confused. And going by the surrounding circumstances, my kidnapping and everyone else's were near identical. There is no question that the culprit is the same in each case. So what you're telling me is that the culprit is so fucking strong that he can take Kanji's ass down and grab his fucking 6'2 ass and just fucking <laughs> just drag him, lift him up, whatever the hell he did, put him in a sack. Jesus. So that Mitsuo boy who said he killed King Moron. Everything makes sense now. You gotta be one strong motherfucker to like be carrying a kanji and like do it pretty quickly. I can't say for sure until I gather more concrete evidence. But Mitsuo Kubo's only victim was Mr. Moraoka. It was a copycat killing that mimicked the true culprit's method. No wonder King Moron's death broke the pattern in so many ways. The question remains, though, as to how Kubo learned of that world. That's it! That's what was bothering me! Mitsuo could enter the TV, right? Then why didn't he kill King Moron that way? I'm sorry. Now that I actually, like, now that I actually been, it's been a while, you know, since I actually sat down and paid attention to the story of P4. Mitsuo, he can just use the TV. Because he wasn't on the television at all beforehand. I don't think so, was he? So did he just fall into the TV? What the fuck happened? <laughs> How did he get in there? I believe he didn't understand the other world as well as the true culprit. Even though I can now enter it myself, it wouldn't occur to me to use it for murder. And remember, the previous corpses left no sign that their deaths had anything to do with the other world. After Kubo became wanted, leaving him with nowhere to run, he probably thought for the first time... I think this is the only time in the story that they actually sit down and, uh, and, and say, like, Mitsuo can actually get into the TV by himself. Because later on, I remember when they're explaining stuff, they don't bring up Mitsuo ever again after this point. What if I put my entire body into the TV? The bizarre condition of the corpses that caused such commotion is probably because they died on the other side. It's a simpler explanation than figuring out why the killer would risk disposing of the bodies in such a way. Which means their inexplicable condition of being hung on a foggy day wasn't due to the culprit making a statement. Much of our speculation could be tested if we could ask Kubo in person. However... However, he's locked up. They won't let him out. They won't let him out. He's locked up. They won't let him out. No, no. I've unfortunately been taken off the investigation. Oh, that sucks. And I highly doubt that the police will believe any of this. They wouldn't admit that it wasn't Mitsuo in the first place. 
Once you've said something on TV, it's not easy to admit you were wrong. No, I know they talk about it later, but I don't think they talk about Mitsuo. They talk about... They talk about other characters, but they don't talk about Mitsuo. I believe the primary cause of my dismissal was because I raised that possibility to them. The police won't readily concede that they made false charges. All the more so if the accused is a juvenile. In fact, the overwhelming sentiment with the police force is to end this case with his arrest. Even if it's possible there's another killer? Those dickheads. I had a feeling that would be the case. Not that I trusted him in the first place. But, uh, Naoto, if you were that calm when it happened to you, couldn't you have, you know... I'm not saying you should have caught him, but isn't it kind of sad for an ace detective to go down that easily? Um... First of all, Yosuke, detectives don't actually have to do that much field work. Most criminal investigators are confined to the lab most of the time, and the field work that they do is mostly confined to, uh, you know, the site. Of the crime and then the actual police force does the arresting and shit you know um to tell you the truth and I second of all really scared she's fucking like what 15 16 chill out man i'm sorry it can't be helped none of us could resist the culprit either don't forget naoto kun is younger than us and she's a girl and she's a girl Thanks. Thanks for that, Yukiko. Oh yeah, that's true. Put her down even more. I keep forgetting when I see her talking like this. You know, Naoto? What is it? You got balls. For a girl. Regardless, I have no doubt that the culprit will continue with his attacks. We can only watch and wait for him to make the next move. But this is no longer a mere job or someone else's affair. I want to know the truth of why we were targeted. Please allow me to join your effort. Of course, Naoto, you're already in the fucking stream overlay, so yeah. Thank you very much. I'll do my best, leader. Naoto has joined the group. She'll definitely be the, a strong asset in solving the case. Unless you just feel like ignoring her and never using her ever. Oh, I gotta press the button. I started scratching my nose. Since I'm the king of the geniuses, I knew it would work out this way. Ta-da! Now Chan's glasses. Thank you. They told me about you, Teddy. I can sympathize with your drive to find yourself. If I may help in any way, let me know. Wow, what a nice girl. The true culprit is still at large. For now, you'll just have to wait for them to make their next move. Oh, you're home. All right. Uh, da -da. I can work as a tutor, right? Or some bullshit. I'm gonna head to the shrine. Gonna catch some bugs. That's what I'm gonna do. It's nice and moist. Moist soil. Moist is a fun word to say. What'd I get? Dynamo Grasshopper. Okay. Got the Locust. Cool. Hey lady, you want to fish? Oh, now you want a red goldfish. Alright, listen. Beggars can't be choosers. One or the other. Be happy that I even got a fucking fish. Gotta talk to that old man tomorrow, if I can. Hi, Rize. Bye, Rize. Hospital. Get my goddamn courage up. 
busily cleaned the recently vacant hospital room. You feel someone's watching you. You decide to pretend not to notice and continue cleaning. Yes! Nice work. Oh, I thought you were going to continue the thought. Nice work. Were you waiting for me? Oh, you sweet thing. Well then, <laughs> would you like to study with me? Perhaps a subject that they don't teach in school, if you catch my drift. Not interested, ma'am. I don't want to be a father today. <laughs> oh, you're an honest guy. That's cute, and boys your age. Psycho smirks at you. I don't find your type around here. You mean young and helpless? <laughs> the kids over here are much simpler. All they see is the carrot dangling in front of their faces. You're... I know. You seem to have some sort of secret deep inside you. I think it's irresistible. Sayoko smiles in satisfaction. You can feel Sayoko's mischievous affection for you. Put on the Marvin Gaye. And if you feel like I feel, baby, so come on. I'll see you again. I won't. My courage is heroic. I'm never coming back here. I got what I wanted out of the deal. I just gotta get my diligence up, and I'm gonna kick down the door to that fucking ramen shop. Excuse me. Do you have time after school today? Maybe. Did something happen? No. Rather, I'd like to have a doctor examine Teddy. A doctor? You mean a vet? <laughs> the normal kind. Damn, actually. Yukiko. If you're free, I've scheduled a checkup for him after school today. A thorough physical examination might be a good first step in figuring out what Teddy is. And I thought it might be a good idea for the rest of us to get checkups as well. We should see if the fog over there or the power we've gained have had any negative effects on our health. Since you all have been active on the other side far longer than I have, you should definitely be examined. Negative effects? D don't drop scary stuff on us like it's nothing. I mean, considering Persona 3, right? <laughs> I'm surprised. I mean, listen, Naoto hops on the team and Naoto's like, Guys, what if we, first of all, we should, we should really get checked out. This is some weird shit going on with our bodies. Listen, it's more than just puberty, and Teddy's a fucking freak. And then Naoto's also just like, by the way, do any of you guys have a gun? <laughs> just, just have a gun with you? You're fucking around with a murderer? But yeah, I never even thought about that. I've arranged to have Kanji-kun and Risei-san looked at as well. Wow, you're on the ball about all this. Are you sure you're not an adult? Her height's a big giveaway, though. Asshole. Well, I'll see you all after school. Mayosuke, you really know how to put your fucking foot in your mouth. What the hell? <laughs> Sorry, I saw something by the corner of my eye. <laughs> Got a little freaked out by it. You'll be going to the hospital after school at Naoto's recommendation. Everyone underwent a thorough physical examination at the hospital not to recommend it. That was just an ordinary checkup. Huh, I was kind of looking forward to getting into some gigantic machine and being spun around. Damn dog, you freaky freaky. Was there really a point to this? The doctors look confused too. Oh, they're back. Why would the doctors be confused if you want to check I'm up? I'm very sorry for the wait. Anybody comes in for a checkup, I, I dare my doctor to fucking look at me like that when I'm like, hey doc, I want a checkup. They go, what for? It's like, for my fucking health. What do you, what? I'm very sorry for the wait. So did they find out anything about Teddy? Healthcare ain't free here. You ain't got time to ask questions. I could be dying. They did indeed. They found out that they can't tell anything about him. I even had them take an x-ray, but nothing came up on it. No matter how many times they tried, it would always be too blurry to read. 
A visual examination and standard palpations indicated that he seems perfectly normal. Since the machine could be malfunctioning, they told me to try another hospital if we're still worried about him. I wish they would explain a little bit more about Teddy. And this whole entire process is what the fuck happened, right? Because the way I look at it, like once you tell me, yeah, we did a, is like, he's alive, but we did a x-ray and we couldn't see anything. It was all blurry. Like, I just start thinking that he's a fucking golem. Just transferred his consciousness into a vessel. I felt bad for making them go through all this. So he is different. Oh my, what should I do? They took a look at everything inside me. Don't get freaky, dude. She just said they couldn't see anything on the x-ray, you dork. But at least they didn't find anything wrong with them, right? I wish people used the word dork more. I like it. Man, we know as much about Teddy as we do those personas and shadows. Oh yeah, I tried looking them up at the library and on the net. Persona means something like another personality. And I think they listed shadow under the related terms. Shadows are shadows. I think there's something that comes out of people. Um, I can't really explain. I performed my own research after the incident. Persona and shadow are common psychological terms. Persona I know of. I never heard the word shadow be used as a psychological term in any context whatsoever besides this fucking video game series. Of course, the ones we are familiar with don't quite fit those definitions. This is what was written in an unofficial project document that I happened to come across. A shadow is suppressed power, and when controlled by one's ego, it becomes a persona. It becomes a persona? What does that mean? They're, they're basically the same thing? It's the same thing, and then Persona 5 just said, nah, forget about it, we're done with that. <laughs> we're not doing that no more. Now we just gotta rip off a fucking mask off your face whenever you're angry enough, I guess. Well, then again, all those shadows we beat the shit out of did turn into personas. Who cares about the details? It doesn't matter what they are. If they get in our way, I'll crush them. Still, I couldn't find any information on how they're related to the other world. <sighs> There's so much stuff about us that we don't have a clue about. There's some things we do know, though. Like? Mm-hmm. I got a bunch of awesome data with me. It's kind of embarrassing that I'm the only one who had personal details shown to the world, so... Ta-da! Nowadays, information wants to be free. Therefore, I'll break the ice by announcing the results of everyone's physical exams. What? No, you won't! Give them to me now! Ooh! First place in the shortest legs division is... Huh, who would have guessed? It's not me, is it? Hey, what kind of things did they examine anyway? Look, if you're gonna blab it all, you might as well tell us the girls' measurements. You fucking pervert. Listen, Yosuke said, Yosuke said listen, if someone's going down, it might as well be me, right? What? Are you a complete nutter moron? Sure, go right ahead. My profile's been public knowledge for ages. Damn, girl. You scary. Oh, but my bus size is two centimeters smaller than they print. My agency insisted. No, don't say mine. Ah, I bet guys won't care what size you are, senpai. And having modestly sized breasts like yours would definitely make it easier to wear a kimono. Damn, you're terrifying, Risa. You're just saying this shit out in the open. What? Oh yeah, Naoto Kun's in here too, huh? Um, let's see. Naoto Kun's is. Huh? Is this for real? Wait, isn't this measured wrong? She said, let's see. Naoto. God damn, you're stacked. What? Where are you hiding it? Uh, anyways, the important thing is that according to the examination results, nothing's wrong with our health. So we won't be needing these anymore. Listen, Rize. You call me, and you tell me what you saw, okay? I'm going to go shred them. Uh, well, thank goodness everyone's healthy. Y you're right. Let's go home. 
After all that, they found out nothing about me. I wonder what I really am. A fucking freak. <laughs> oh shit. I didn't I didn't expect to actually say something after that. <laughs> I don't know. We'll find out together, Teddy. Yeah. Thanks, Sensei. Teddy is gazing at you with gratitude in his eyes. What do you got for me, Teddy? Maricanda? Um. Damn. I don't really care about Auto Ruka. Oops. I might get rid of Maricanda too, so. Hey! If you don't hurry, we're gonna leave you guys behind! You're back. I am back. They start Friday. Oh, next Friday, I guess. Dojima, are you finished? Thank you. Let's finish your fucking social link. Jesus. You know, I just looked outside. Let's take a walk in a bit. There's somewhere I want to go with you and Nanako. Oh, and here. Have this. A present? For me? You obtained a coffee mug. Nice. It's the same kind that Nanako and I use. This is your personal mug. Write your name on it later. <laughs> and then what the fuck have I been using now? Its real owner isn't here anymore. Oh, damn. Shit. I actually never chose that option before, and now I'm kind of sad. I'm sorry. Oh, fuck. Man, you trusted me to use her cup, dog? Really? Like that? Oh. We're family. So I'll fill yours and Nanako's mugs anytime. Don't forget that. Ready, Dad? Yeah, let's go. Let's go, big bro. You went for a walk with Nanako in the middle. Wait, what? Did I read that right? I don't think I did. Oh shit, damn it. It's scary at night. It is. It's fucking terrifying. But it's fun with you and Big Bro. Take that from someone who works by himself outside at night all the damn time. It gets terrifying out there some fucking times. Don't fall in. Why'd we come here? Well, you've been saying all the time how you wanted to come here, right? Let's come again on a nicer day. We can have a picnic. Yeah. Can I go closer to the river? The fish might be sleeping. All right, all right. Watch your step, okay? Okay. That look on her face. I haven't seen it in a long time. Huh. I am going to keep up my search for the criminal who ran over Chisato. This time, it's not to escape from anything. I'm just doing it because I'm a detective. Seems I forgot something as basic as that. You made me remember what's important to me. I owe you for that. This town is my town. It's the place where you and Nanako live. <laughs> Only for a couple more months and then I'm out of here. That's why I'm going to live on, protecting this place. As a detective, as a father. Dojima has a refreshing smile on his face. You feel a tight bond between you and Dojima. Alright, thou, thou art I, you have established a genuine bond, whatever it brings you closer to the truth, arcana, something, 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 skip. You get to a point where you're sick and tired of looking at this shit. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, power to create the Hera font. You make Koryu. Cool. Wait, I said! Oh, damn it, he's still after us! <laughs> that's just Yuri Lowenthal again. What the... Hey, that's... You there, what's wrong? 
Detective Dojima? I I'm sorry to bother you while you're off duty. I don't sweat it. Who are they? Oh, it's that group of juvie thieves. You know, the one that's been the talk of the town? Thieves? Those punks. Dad, are you going? Yeah. Arresting the bad guys is my... I mean, your father's job. Sorry, but take care of Nanako. Leave it to me. Right. Don't you know who I am? I'm Detective Dojima of the Inaba PD, feared by punks and thugs citywide. Don't you two worry about me. Head on home, okay? All right, stop right there, you punks! Go get him, Dad! He's so cool. Let's go home. I need to get the bath ready. Oh, and let's make a late night snack. I'm hungry. Uh, whatever you want, you little garbage monster. You talk, you talk about what you could prepare as you walked home. I'm hungry. Feed me. Now. Or I will devour everything in the vicinity. Oh, good morning, senpai. Exams start next Friday, but I'm just not in the mood for schoolwork. You and me both, Naoto. The true killer is somewhere else. We're the only ones who know that. If we don't act, the case will grind to a halt. And tests are important too, I guess, maybe. I'm not saying they aren't. I'm feeling anxious. I don't know, man. Like, listen. If I lived in the world of Persona, and I went into the TV world, and I came out with fucking thousands of yen in my pocket, I would just be like, oh, well, this is my job now. I just do this all day. This is how, this is my living. <laughs> this is how I make money. You tell me in one week I can make over a million yen? Oh yeah, definitely. Anyways, we can only wait for the culprit to make his move. We must not forget to check the Midnight Channel too. This is the cult. This is a crucial moment. Good morning, everyone. Guess what? We're gonna have exams at the end of the next week. I hope that nobody here is being an ostrich and goofing around without doing any studying. Why did I say ostrich? Because it's a common metaphor for somebody who avoid conf uh, blah, 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 to avoid inconvenient truths. It comes from the common mistake belief that ostriches bury their heads in the sand in the face of oncoming danger. To feel safe just because just because you can't see the problem, a sure sign of escaping from reality. Don't be like a fake ostrich. There's another kind of bird, though, that has a cowardly connotation in English. Lay it on me, Narukami. Ah, oh, shit. Be brave. Tell me what bird's name... Uh, cow oh, yeah, I was checking. Bark, 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 bark. It's Elmer Fudd. Alright, that's correct. Chicken is a word for coward in English. Not really. Not really. There are many theories as to why. Uh, you know how you know how you get goosebumps when you're when you're scared, right? It looks like a defeathered chicken skin. Wait, then why why do they call it goosebumps and not chicken bumps? It doesn't matter. The point is you need to face the point is you need to face reality boldly and prepare for your test next week. You gave the correct answer. You're so cool. I'm so cool. Whoa! It's freezing. Why are we getting together on the roof on a day like this? It's freezing, says the guy with the tank top on. What the fuck? Yeah, what's this urgent business about, Yosuke Senpai? Seriously! I was busy handing out flyers at Juness! Hey, I saw you hitting on girls just outside the school gate. Was there some kind of progress in the case? I need you guys. You have to help me. You're the only ones I can rely on. Oh no, is this the fucking dumb band thing? God damn it. Can you please keep this weekend open? This weekend? Does this have anything to do with that event at the Inaba police station that's been canceled? What are you talking about? The idol Konami Mashita was scheduled to be the honorary chief this Sunday. Oh my gosh! The famous Kahneman is coming all the way out to the booth. Yes, 
Yes, it is. Fuck. The the name of just Konami Masha, I can just see Rize losing her shit, just going like, oh my fucking god. So she's taking on jobs like that already. I have been seeing a lot of her on TV lately. I didn't know she belonged to the same agency as you, Rize-chan. I mean, if she's coming to Inaba now, the agency's obviously trying to use all the fuss about me to their favor. Obviously, they care about me still because they're coming to my town with my replacement. I'm not jealous or anything, though. So what's the big deal about that being canceled, Yosuke-senpai? There was going to be a big sale at Juness to take advantage of the event, but now it's down the tubes! It's not a joke! The police took forever to decide on canceling the event. My dad's really in a fix now. He worked so hard to put this whole thing together, and I can't stand to see him like this. I can't just let it go. I heard that the police couldn't prepare for the event because I had gone missing. Damn it, Naoto! I'm sorry. This is my fault. It is your fault, because I hate this fucking band bullshit they do. No, it's not your fault. Don't blame yourself. But yeah, it does seem like that's what happened. Like, next to them chasing, like, the fucking paparazzi dude around, like, this is probably my least favorite scene, like, my second least favorite scene in this whole entire game, because it's just so fucking, like, it's cringy as shit. Okay, so you called us up here. What do you want us to do about it? Everything about it just fucking, just, it's just like, eh, <laughs> you know? Sounds, I gotta say, I don't think we can be much help. I want everyone to help me with a bunch of different tasks. Um, Risa-san, well, if you could, you know, do an event at Juness. You want me to substitute for Konami? So there's no way? <sighs> Is it really that bad? I don't know. I may be his son, but I'm still only a part-timer. So what you tell me is that your dad don't love you? <laughs> like... But my dad's being awfully nice for some reason. I think it's possible that he might get fired if this thing falls through. Oh, what the fuck? If that happens, I might have to transfer schools again. <laughs> Seriously, what am I going to do if that happens? Singing and handshakes only. No autographs and nothing that I can't do as a high school student. Otherwise, I'll get in trouble. And I'll only do it if you all get on stage with me. What? Wait! I'm no idol! It would be troublesome if people came to try to recruit me to be an idol. I'm happy that uh, Persona that Persona 4 Dancing All Night gave this kind of thing a second shot. And they did it pretty well, in my opinion. Right? Transitioning the characters to pop idol bullshit. But god damn it. And P4 gold and it's just I so don't give a fuck. Me too. I already have an exclusive contract with Juness. I think you guys are worrying about the right things here. But if you're gonna sing, what are we supposed to do on stage? I need a band, of course. I'll make this very clear. I can't use pre-recorded tracks. Whoa, whoa, there's no way we can pull off something like that! I have some experience playing the keyboard. My grandfather suggested that I take piano lessons when I was younger. Keyboard and piano are two different things now, too. I have one that I can bring as well. You're up for this? This incident is a result of my actions, after all. I will do whatever I can to help. Naoto, thanks. If it's music you need, I have a guitar. I've never really played it, though. You fucking poser, bitch. Oh, wait. I accidentally bought a bass once. I think it's in storage. How do you accidentally buy something like that? I bet you just thought it was another guitar. That's exactly the point, Rize. That's exactly the point right there. I accidentally bought a bass. Why? Thought it was a guitar. Hmm. I should have some kind of musical instrument. <laughs> they didn't use you. Yeah, shit. I forgot. It, you see the opening every fucking time you start the game up. But yeah, Yosuke dancing with his fucking trash can. What the hell? He's like, I love me and my trash can. <laughs> Some kind of instrument? Oh, but, to, but to be fair, if you see the opening for Dancing All Night, 
My man Yosuke fucking had it, dude. You saw how, how he just drops to the ground? That dude folded like a deck of cards. It's like, how the fuck you do that? Like, you gotta be real flexible to pull some shit off like that. Like, he just hit. He just fucking dropped it so fast. Then it's decided. Like, he's the best dancer in that game. I'll look for a song I can sing that can use a band arrangement. You guys get instruments and find a place to practice. Got it. Try to pick an easy one, okay? All right. Now that this is happening, I'm getting fired up about it. He's Yosuke fucking Hanamura. Listen, Yosuke, Yosuke is my favorite, dude. I love Yosuke. That's why I, I can't really main him in Ultimax. He's like my secondary main, but fucking dude, when Ultimax came out and I was like, Yosuke, what do you got? And he's flipping all over the screen and shit. I was like, oh, okay, Yosuke, you're just, you're just a cool guy. No matter what you do, it's just that no girl ever loves you. And you're stuck at a dead end job, but despite all that, you're pretty cool. So, what are we gonna do with these? I just grabbed whatever I could find that wasn't being used by the symphonic band. What is that? It's a gong. What the fuck, Yukiko? Well, duh. I'm pretty sure he meant to ask, what is that doing here? I thought Chie might want to play that. You know, it sounds kind of Chinese ish. That sounds racist. <laughs> you know, Yuko, you're acting kind of Japanese-ish. Um, I don't think that's gonna really matter in this case. Yosuke, try holding these! Huh? Yosuke keeps crashing and nutshotting himself and falling in trash cans and shit. I mean, Chie helped him out with that too. She kind of chased him and made him made him hit his sack against a desk, I guess. Right? <laughs> I see. Yeah, you do look like that when you're fighting. Try summoning your persona while you're holding those. All right. Persona. Why'd you why'd you do that? Wait, I can't summon it here. I'll choose this then. <laughs> look, look! Isn't this like my fan? Nothing of the sort. I think she's convinced we're playing for a dinner party at the inn. Come on, we need stuff like guitars instead of little backup instruments like these. Hey, I'll play the guitar. Why don't you take the bass? What does Yuki play? She plays the there. sax? It's even live action Persona 4 opening scene with actors. And they even gave Yosuke a plywood trash can from <laughs> Yosuke in his fucking trash can. Jesus. You know, that's something that you just kind of see in the opening and you really just don't think about it because you're just like, eh, you're just like, oh, he's just dancing and being goofy. You know, anime characters, right? But then when you look, you know, you sit there and you actually look at it like, why the fuck is he dancing with a trash can? This motherfucker out here doing some stomp type shit, banging on trash cans in the rain. Master. Oh, I never thought I'd hear you call me that. Yeah, all right, keep your get your dick out your hand, Yosuke. Check out these moves. I've got mad air guitar skills. Well then, since you two and Naoto Kun have decided what to play, let's put Kanji on drums. Hey, why don't I get to pick? If you're up front, it'll look like a metal band. I think you'd be good at the drums. You're always hitting and stomping on things, after all. Yeah, you unga bunga bitch. Start hitting on things like the fucking monkey you are. How does that make any sense? <laughs> then I will take over all the charming percussion accoutrement. Hey, baby, I lay down the passionate beats that flow from my soul. You're weird, Teddy. Uh, so that leaves Yukiko and me? You think it's in the TV listings of the game? What, the live action thing? Really? I never... I don't think I've ever saw it. You two. Maybe um, like a trailer for it. the chorus? There is a part for that. Singing? Really? No, 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 can do. We'll hold something. 
I know they had like a trailer for the anime and then they had like some of the artwork in there and stuff like that. And then they had like the uh the quiz and shit like that. I don't know. I, I guess I'll check that on my own time. Oh, doesn't this at least look like a band? Yeah, I don't think it looks bad at all. I do. You buzz into it. You buzz into it. You don't blow. It's brass. Is this thing broken? I'm blowing, but the air goes right through. You buzz. You do the bee lips. You do the. That's how it is for everyone when they start out. Anyway, we don't have much time, so let's start practicing. Get a little treat. Oh yeah, I showed that off uh, earlier in one of the previous streams for the game. I started earlier just to show it off. A uh, little Teddy walking around. In the, um, at the midnight. Yeah, I made sure to show that off a bit. See, I, like, I've only done it once on before, like, paper? before the stream, so I thought, like, you click on the Teddy and that takes you to the midnight channel quiz, but it's something else that takes you to the midnight channel quiz. Oh, yeah, I don't know how to read music. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna have to transfer schools after all. Oh, it's not. Oh, it's not the quiz show he's talking about. It's the. It's just like a little thing that they added. Well, I mean, because the TV listings were, was never in the original. It's only in Golden, right? But for the PS Vita, if you um, it was just something to interact with Teddy with the touch screen that you just like touch him and he goes <laughs> like the fucking Pilder, Pillsbury Doughboy or some shit. Yeah. But the quiz game, like you can just find it and just like click it. That one's oh, different. Welcome home, big bro. You can work as a tutor today. Sure, I guess. I don't know. I got nothing else better to do in my fucking life. Unless the, uh... Unless... Unless the ramen shop has something for my diligence. Understanding. God damn it. Alright, well, guess I'll go tutor for the night. Let's see. Someone did a U wins by doing absolutely nothing? Jesus. That's why everyone else is just fucking stupid. I'm gonna speed through that. All right, calm down, game. Once more from the top. It's still having the fucking speed up sound effect. One, two, three, four. I don't want to. I don't want to press the button because it's gonna. It's gonna speed up. All right, there we go. That's the little hiccups you get with the PC release. What the fuck? Hello. That wasn't me, I think. Well... <laughs> well, okay. That wasn't me either. I mean, I can't get any sound at all out of this. You can find a live concert of the P3, P4 band in it. A hmm. hip and young audience yearns for the element of surprise in music as well. A bizarre sound suddenly rings out. An overturning of the expected cliches found in today's things. sound. You get it? What the oh, fuck are you talking about, it. Teddy? Shut up. That means Teddy did it, doesn't it? Huh? That reaction overturned my expectations. Why don't we take a break? We've been at this since morning. Why don't we just stop? Why don't we just don't do this scene? Good idea. My fingers are all stiff. The song that even comes from the scene isn't even that good, honestly. Nice follow-up now, Chan. I think I'm falling for you. I think the song is called True Story, right? And I think... I'm pretty sure the only reason I know that is because, uh... The, the uh, game Akiba's Strip Undead and Undressed, the intro song to that is also called True Story. 
So I was looking for that song, and then when I was like, oh, is this the song? And then it started playing the fucking Persona 4 song, and I was like, no! I don't want to listen to that! I want to listen to the other one. The one from Michael Strip. ignore this bear. Are we really going to manage this? I'm starting to get the feeling that it's impossible no matter what we do. The one you found was mass destruction and the TV listings? There's just not enough yeah. time. Most most time when there's like a piece of medium that's doing pretty good for like the Japanese audience, they will make like a live action like drama for it. So that doesn't surprise me too much. Show some spirits, everybody. You can do it. Cheer up. You really get into that do-or-die spirit sometimes. Listen, you're gonna force me to do this, I might as well do it all the way. But that seems fitting for him. That's right. Everything would have been for nothing if we give up now. Every day, it's only been Real like one day. doesn't begin until you got your back to a wall. We're here to start a band, not a fight club. I'd rather do the fight club. I'll do it too. It's not just about Yosuke now. I'll simply feel angry at myself if I give up. Don't worry, Yosuke-senpai. I agreed to do this, so I'll do it. I didn't say anything pathetic like, I'll do what I can. I'm going to get a huge crowd, no matter what, and they will go home satisfied. Please, I just need your help to do it. Wow. Now that's how a pro delivers a team-boosting speech. <laughs> well then, should we resume our practice? All right, let's do this. I feel like I'm watching a fucking shitty bootleg version of I Kaon. Did I did it! So this isn't broken after all. Okay, let's try putting your music together and I'll sing along. Well, wait a sec. Can't we get a little more practice before we try doing that stuff? Playing for the real reset. I mean... I'm all for that. Don't think of it like that. I'm seeing how hard you're trying, and I don't want to just sit and watch you practice without me anymore. So, they had a second song, but you don't know what it was. Here okay. goes. One, two, three, four. That sound pretty good? No, I fucking hate this song, Jesus. That was actual music! Yeah, it felt good. Like, this is the lowest point of, like, any Persona soundtrack for me. Actually, that's a lie. Mementos is the fucking lowest point of any Persona soundtrack for me. Oh, man, let's have a hundred and something fucking floors of you just wasting your time doing some more tartarous shit and what's the song we're gonna have for that oh i get it we're gonna have like come on oh wait a minute wait till the song drops and then you have the accordion comes in like oh my fucking i hate memento so fucking much it seems there's hope after all like, at least in Tartarus, I can listen to Maya's theme. The band has practiced hard and overcome many obstacles that dare In Tartarus, face you had some options and that you can switch to. You had, like, four options. Shine. All they have to do is discard whatever remaining fear holds them back, and a lifetime of public adoration awaits! It'd be cool if you had a better song if you choose to do the music club. That would be cool. It would give you a, it would give you a reason. You know? Hell no! A reason to hang out with that little gremlin. We've already been on a TV show. A midnight one. I was discarding my clothes more than I was discarding my fear. For me, it was like discarding my public image anyway. C come on, everyone. Let's cheer up, okay? And you! You have a bunch of stuff lined up, but you're still only playing the tambourine. <laughs> Haven't you heard the phrase, a clever bear conceals his claws? Haven't you heard the phrase, get off the fucking stage, Teddy? I'm 
gonna play a special little bear formance of my own and charm all the girls. That saying's about a hawk, not a bear. And don't even think about it. We don't have the skills to ad lib. The Kanji character picture is great. Yeah, I don't know why they do. They have better portraits for that moment, but they chose the most stupidest one for that single moment right there. He's like talking about a painful fucking memory and it's like, oh, make him look like a goober. Do you understand me? We're doing this exactly like we practiced. Got it? What? If you don't, then I'll make sure you pay for all the topsicles you've eaten during breaks at work. Just like we practiced. Got it? Well, let's take it from the top one more time. Keep up that energy that we had before. Everyone's hard work is slowly taking shape. You practice late into the night for the actual performance tomorrow. Can we just be finished with this fucking part of the goddamn game? God damn it, I fucking hate it. You're back. It's so boring. <laughs> it's so... I don't even care if I do anything at night. I'm just gonna go to bed to make it fucking go fast. Shopping program? What we got? Nice shoes. Nice. A huge fish. I will proceed to pleasure myself with this fish. Give me those kicks. I'll take it. This is the part where the cool kids would then call their shoes Yeezys, I believe. Let me get some of them Yeezys. Am I cool now? Am I cool because I sounded like a fucking Crap. moron? The crowd's a lot bigger than I expected. Eat Yeezys. I yeeted my Yeezys over to Yeezus. I'm cool now. Don't say stuff like that. You're making me even more nervous. Do I prefer the PS prefer? Why did I say it like that? Jesus. Do I prefer the PS2 version without the extra events? No, I like Golden better. Like, Golden is just... Golden overall is a better game, right? It's just... I, I just don't like this event, really. That's just it. That's, that's like, really the only one. Like, even, Mar even like... Spoilers. Marie has a dungeon of her own. That's why we did whatever. Even the extra shit for Marie is, like... It's not that bad, and it's completely optional, really. So, you know? Uh... Our costumes okay? I mean, I mean, they're just our normal school uniforms. Even worse than the winter ones. What else could we have done? It's not like we have any costumes. The clothes we've been wearing all summer will work as costumes, and since we'll be changing wardrobes tomorrow, it works out. Oh, crap. I, I can't stop my legs from shaking. You'll be hitting the skins more than a bear, Knuckle <laughs> Yeezy's Boxer. loud and deep reverb. Oh, my bad. You mean when, uh... If you're wearing headphones, you might want to cover your ears for this. You mean, uh, if I get a boneless pizza? <laughs> that type of bullshit? You, you shut your stupid bear trap! I don't need to hear this! You've been on TV before, right, now, Tokun? Aren't you used to this? You haven't said a word, though. The last time boneless I played for pizza, a crowd was a coke. piano recital when I was young. Doing an interview on TV is much easier. Even if I make a mistake, I'm the only one who gets embarrassed by it. You're saying doing interviews is easy? That's crazy, too. Oh, I can't take this much longer. Don't you get nervous, too? Eh, yeah, I guess. I guess, you just hide it, really. Wait, you are? Sensei's face is like a waterfall! Uh, what are we supposed to do? I heard masturbating helps you. Huh? Did someone just... Did someone what? Everyone, can you gather around for a second? Y yeah, got it. Your hearts are all racing, right? So is mine. But that's the power behind a live performance. Don't think about doing everything exactly right. The crowd's here to have fun, so we need to have fun first. But I'm not who's having fun. <laughs> when I say who's ready, 
You say we are, okay? I think that's the thing that just makes me really not like this thing is that like for two, like A, it just takes away extra days you can use for your social links. Especially earlier when I was like cutting it close with some of the shit that I did in like the other save file. And on top of that, the whole entire time they're just like, guys, we can't give up. You got to dig deep into your heart and let the people feel your passion of your soul. And it's like, oh my fucking God. It's like, hello, we're dealing with a murderer. Like, I'm all for the goofy shit, but come on. This one's just like, mm, it's so fucking lame. Be thankful for your fans, your friends, and yourself. This is a full-blown, one-time-only performance. Now who's ready? Until dancing all night. We are. We are VR. VR troopers. Fired up and ready to go. Now listen up. We're sticking to how we practiced, okay? Here goes! It also doesn't help that they hyped it up, right? That they're like, give it everything you got. And then the animation they do for it is just her standing still going, going fucking, and da 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 da, your true story, all this bullshit, right? It's like, if you're gonna hype it up, put some work into it, right? But that's why Dancing All Night did so well. Because it's like, put a lot of work into it, and the people who worked on that worked on rhythm games before maybe it's not the best rhythm game because some of the shit is out of sync and uh dancing all night right and its ranking system is a bit of a pain in the ass where like if you fuck up towards the end of it you kind of just lose anyways but at least you know it was built around that this one is just like everyone stand still be as dead as possible and just have a song that's just kind of there you know just dance on arena's ultimax exactly right like even even rize's fucking super from ultimax her rhythm game shit it's like hey man i can't be mad at that you styling on me right now All right uh shit they're asking for an encore you go went from how do I do the noise to a pro exactly, especially with a saxophone in like two days. What the fuck? Oh yeah, I, I didn't think about that. We only know one song. What do we do now? There are only two things we can do: ignore them and leave, or play the same song over again. Maybe we can have Risa explain our situation, and they'll go easy on us and let us replay that song. I saw that guy before. Shut up, Yosuke. We're talking about the song. Uh, I'm getting fired up! Hey, Teddy? Ha! Yeah! Crowd surf! This is the best part of being a live performer! Stupid Teddy, we can't play without him. 
Yusuke being a big brain. Exactly. Hey, hey, why don't we all dive into the crowd? They might just carry us out of here and we can escape this awkward situation. I mean, listen, why does it matter if Yosuke saw a dude? Because you live in a fucking small ass town where everyone knows everyone. So you're going to see people all the damn time. Hey, is that the same guy I saw from before? What about the same 50 other people you saw yesterday? Stage dive? Hey, don't sound so excited! Actually, if all seven of us jump in, there'd be trouble. Then what are we gonna do? Do we have any other way out? If you want to do it that much, then just the guys do it! Uh, all right, I'll show you what it means to be a man. Hey, wait, you idiot! Oh. They just dodged out of the way. At least I had How the common you... sense to fucking, like, land on my knees. <laughs> I didn't know it was possible to stand on your own face. At least you landed, right? Exactly. You and your friends have become legends amongst your peers. Until like a month from now. <laughs> when the unforgivable happens. Enough people have gathered at Junas that you consider this mission an accomplishment. At least you tell yourself. That's a nice little snippet at the end. It's like, at least that's what you tell yourself. Back. Meanwhile, you're walking away, everyone's like, you fucking morons. I am back, Dojima. And finally, we can put all that behind us. I gotta make sure that I'm not overriding something important. I also want to pull my phone out real quick. I gotta check what time it is. Uh, I'm over time, but I can go for like... I can maybe go for like another hour. Maybe. Depends. Depends on how much noise people want to make this morning. Alright. Let's see. Said I can work as a tutor. I don't even... I don't even really care. Honestly. I just need to get my diligence up. Need to get my diligence up. Need to do the stuff for the fox. Uh, finish Rize and Kanji's stuff. And start with Naoto. That's pretty much the main things I want to do, and then I'll worry about everything else after. Courage. Fucking come on, man. Really? I guess I'll go tutor the little bastard then. Thanks for continuing. Yes, you pat the Nauto. You must. It's your only choice. Pat the Nauto. Wait, what? Oh, I thought it said I can tutor for tonight. Okay, then what the f... Damn it, I don't have any books or anything for diligence. Oh, but I got, um, I can do, I can do the stuff at home. I can work. What's it for diligence? Is it envelopes? Folding envelopes? I'm done with all the time sensitive social links, by the way, right? Nanako and Dojima are fine, I believe. Marie's fine. Okay, yeah. So all the time-sensitive shit is... Oop, didn't mean to do that. Make envelopes. Diligence has increased. Nice, and I got paid. I got paid some money, eh? Hey. Morning, Yuku. Man, that was exhausting yesterday. It was exhausting to fucking watch. It was my first time being on stage like that. Won't be your last. Rize had to do stuff like that all the time when she was working, right? I'd never be able to live like that. And this week, we got midterms. Oh hey, we should have a study session. Fuck you, I'm not having a study session, what? We're all in the same boat, right? Let's help each other out. I never studied for anything and I still got great, great grades. Help each other? You and me? That's right, help each other. 
Okay, so what if I'm more on being help side than helping others? Come on. Help those of us who are academically challenged. Oh, you mean unfortunately stupid. I'll invite everyone, please. Marie increases hangout amount during December also. Well, yeah, I mean, because that's the last chance you get, right? But even then, like, December is also your last chance to really get the social links for your teammates. Like, if you're, uh... The way I did it, at least, like... Like, I'll fuck, I'll show you. I'll show you. Now please, now please take a look at the second page of the handout. It's about Napoleon. Napoleon went on many military campaigns and needed something very specific. Napoleon had made these. You, would you like to stand up, please? What did Napoleon invent? He invented glass jars. I remember learning that in school. You knew well. Uh, you knew well. You knew well. What? Okay. That's right. He made people invent glass jars. Napoleon had a contest had a contest with lots of reward money to whoever could come up with a way to per to preserve food for long campaigns. Nicholas Apart, yeah, Nicholas Apart submitted his methods for canning food in in eighteen yeah, in eighteen o four, paving the way for the food preservation industry. It's a common misconception, but Napoleon was not involved with the actual invention of metal cans. The first canned food was kept in glass jars. Tin or iron cans were invented in 1810 as an alternative to heavier jars. The problem with canned jars is that sometime if you kept food in there for too long, some of the toxins of the metal would seep through, like lead and shit. An actual can opener, however, wouldn't be invented for another 45 years. Before the invention of the can openers, soldiers would use bayonets to cut open cans or smash them with rocks. So midterm start at the end of this week. Don't forget to review. Like a bolt out of the blue, it's time for the Reaper review. Oh, hi Nanako-chan. Hi Teddy. Hey, greetings to you. Greetings to you. Looks like you're having fun. Yo. Sup. <laughs> Wow, everyone's here. So many people. Why did everyone come here? I mean, we always come here, Teddy. Exam study group. Times like these, I'm jealous of Teddy. It seems like a dream that we had a live concert here only yesterday. That was so much fun. I didn't think the crowd would get that excited. But enough of that. Let's start with proving the trigonometric identities. Oh, jumping straight into math? Ours is the section on trig functions, right? The one where we find the area of a triangle given two sides and... Huh? You find the area of a triangle with... You know, that thing. Um... Base by height by two. If you don't mind, shall I teach you? Oh, are you as smart as I thought? Could you, uh, lend me a hand, too? While they were talking, I got up and just walked around my room real quick, because sitting in this chair fucking hurts like a bitch for too long. Oh, um, I wouldn't know where to begin with second year. It's one of those subjects. basic bitch gamer chairs that people get, right? When they want to become streamers. They're like, I gotta get a gaming chair. Uh, what's Except for that? me, I didn't get it myself. It was a gift. All. It was a gift, and I was like, well, it's not gonna go to waste, so might as well put it together. Don't call me useless. Oh, damn. All right, Nato, shit. <laughs> I think I've figured out what buttons to push to get Nato Kun riled up. You're pretty cute when you're angry. What? What are you talking about? That's it. I quit. This just ain't my thing. To hell with the exams. It's time for my animal crackers. <laughs> it's time for my fucking animal crackers. Oh, can I have some too? I want to find the penguin. Hands off the penguin! It's mine! She knows about the penguin. Uh, forget it. I can't think. Teddy says he doesn't know who he is. <laughs> That's so weird. <laughs> That's weird, Teddy. You have no self-identity. <laughs> My life on this side is really fun. But the more I feel that way, the more I want to know who I really am. 
I've surfed the net, read manga, watched TV. Read manga, surfed the net, read manga. Did I mention I read manga? I even went to a place called the library, but I still can't find anything about me. Dude, I'd be surprised if you did. Still, I'm starting to get an idea. An idea? Whoa, isn't this your first time sharing a theory about yourself? I lived in that other world. That world was my reality. But now, I have a feeling that it was born from the minds of people on this side. And over in that place, filled with shadows, I think I was some sort of special being. A special being? I don't remember anything from back then, though. Maybe it's that amnesia thing I read about in a book the other day. It's true. There are some aspects of the other world that make it seem as though it's rooted in human thoughts. Still, there's no point in applying the principles of logic and deduction to a place like that. But the fact that you existed in such a world from the beginning adds credibility to your theory. There is little doubt that you are a special being on the other side. If you yourself know nothing about it, perhaps it's true that part of your memory is missing. Tell me, what is the earliest memory you can call to mind? It's from a while ago. I've always lived there, as far as I could tell. Then it started to get noisy, so when I happened to bump into Sensei and Yosuke, I asked them to do something about it. I see. If you've always been on that side, you'd have no sense of time or days. Oh, that's right! Nanako-chan's completely clueless about all this! Oh, that's right. You know what we're talking about, little child. I'm sorry, Nanako-chan. We didn't mean to leave you out. Hey! I think Teddy must be a king. I read in a story that a king was all alone inside a forest because of a bad guy's curse. Isn't that what happened to you, Teddy? A king? Well, when you put it that way, it sounds about right. Teddy? A king? So... Here's one of the problems I have with them when they talk about, like, Teddy's origins and shit. They do a lot of things to say stuff, but ultimately, at the end of the day, it doesn't say- It really doesn't say anything. Like, they just had, like, this whole entire, like, like, just kind of back and forth of, like, theory craft around it, but at the end of the day, it doesn't really say anything, because the conclusion they came to is, like, well, I lived there, I, I didn't think, and then I met people, and then I thought. I thought, therefore I am. I can see him wearing a cape! <laughs> Sheesh, Yukiko, you go into laughing fits in front of anyone now. Can we not talk about Teddy being a king? Oh. Huh? Poor Kanji. What's with that face? Teddy really was a king! There are all these other kings, too, and we all... Hey, he's talking about what happened at the club! Shut him up. Quiet, you not in front of Nanako-chan! Everyone left their seats to go buy drinks with Nanako. Am I really a king? Maybe so, man. I don't know what the fuck you are. <laughs> if I'm a king, I'll get to smooch girls every day! <laughs> At least his head's in the right place. I have this fuzzy feeling that I'll find out sooner or later with your help, Sensei. You sense Teddy strong trust. At least they do it better in like Persona 5 with Morgana. I think they do it way better because they actually like just straight up tell you. They go, oh yeah, here's the deal with Morgana. They even do like a better, better example with like Metis from, from the fucking, what, what's it called? From the, uh, The Awakening? Is that, is that the add-on for P3? There's the Journey, and then there's the, not The Awakening, is it The Awakening? What is it? The Answer, my bad. The Answer, that's, that's what it is. The Journey and The Answer. Like even Metis has a better, like, explanation, right? So, 
I don't know, fucking... It's weird. The answer itself is weird. The answer is fucking... I don't... I don't know what the answer is, man. It's... it's good, but then it's also really bad. Because the story for the story for it, like the main story bits are good, but then the characters completely do like 180s. The dumbest person in the group becomes the most reasonable person. The person who is already not reasonable to begin with becomes double not reasonable. The most reasonable person just becomes a fucking idiot. The person who's the bravest becomes a coward. Like, god damn it. Uh, tread lightly. You haven't played it all the way. Okay, all right. I'm not gonna say. I'm not gonna say too much. But <sighs> from a story point, the answer is not bad. That's what I want to say. From from the actual game uh, part of the thing itself, it's not fun. It's hey man, do you, how much do you like Tartarus? Do you like Tartarus? Jesus. Uh, <laughs> uh, the answer. Damn it. I love my toaster, though. I'll fight tooth and nail for my goddamn toaster. Burn my bread all day. All right. So what the hell am I doing at night right now? Congrats, you upgraded to Tartarus Plus. <laughs> exactly. I lost my train of thought just talking about it. <laughs> Damn it! What the hell am I doing? Uh, what's job tutoring? Might as well. Tutor two. Like this. This forms a circle here, with the radius equals to the base of the triangles, and the height is... Basically, uh, you began to explain the problem to him in an easy understand... Blah, 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 blah. He understands it. Um... Um... What do you think of your school? Eh, it's fun. Hmm... I thought so. It's not my fault you don't think school's fun, bitch. Moving on to other matters. There's a transfer student in my class. He looks down on everything here and says we're all a bunch of hicks living in the boonies. Everyone ignores him. Make some friends with him. No. I don't want to. Then why bring it up? Then why bring it up? Why? I hate you! I mean, I don't like him. He's too self-absorbed, like you. School's a pain. All my classmates are stupid, and the lessons they try to teach are absolutely pointless. Your lessons are a lot easier to understand. That's because I'm cool. It seems that Shu is slowly opening up to you. You feel that your relationship with Shu has been, has deepened. Really? I don't. <laughs> How has my relationship deepened when he's like, Hey man, do you like school? Yeah, I like school. I don't like school. Hey man, he's a dude I know, fucking, he's kind of an asshole. You should try to be friends with him. Yeah, no, I'm not going to do that. Your bond has deepened. Thumbs up. Oh, time's up. This is a good spot to finish, actually. So let's just end it for today. Take care now. Fuck you, Shu. Yo, Yukun. Morning. You know, lately whenever we're over there, I've been wondering, does it feel like you see those you see the, uh, th 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 does it feel like you've seen those shadows before? I mean, we fought robots and stuff that looks like they're right out of an anime, so doesn't that bother you? Eh, now that you mention it. Remember how the other selves had these logos like a TV show? Maybe it was like that for the same reason as why the shadows look like something from the TV. Teddy said before that the other world is related to our mind somehow. P 
people who watch the Midnight Channel believe it's a TV show, and we treat that world as something inside the TV. So maybe that's why. Or is it simply because all of us have, have had our brains soaked in television since we were kids? Hmm, I guess I really can't deny that. I can't help TV... Oh, can't help TV. I can't help watching Hong Kong action movies whenever they're on TV. It's so tiring coming up with stuff for the exams. All I want to do is go home and see how my see how my stocks are doing. By the way, Halloween's at the end of this month. I'm sure you've forgotten what with the <coughs> gotta clear my throat. Damn it! I'm sure you've forgotten what with the tests and festivals and all. Speaking of Halloween, the first jack o' lanterns were made out of pumpkins. Hmm, Satanaka-san. I'll I'll pick you. Since you don't seem to care about veggies, nah, I'll choose not a kami. Do you know what vegetables were used to make the first jack-o'-lanterns? Thank you, Ruin Factory, for teaching me this. Turnips. Do you have the answer you think is correct? Yep, that's correct. The first ones were made out of turnips or beets. When that tradition was carried into the U.S., they started using pumpkins because they were plentiful and easier to carve. Pumpkins were plentiful. Not so much so nowadays, I guess. While we're on the subject, I hope that I hope that the stocks will turn up. Turn up. Turn up. Teacher out here dripping, talking about turn up. <laughs> what you know about turning up? No, fine. Puns aren't my style anyways. She said, I'm trying to turn up a profit. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? Still a rainy day, and I still can't talk to the fucking old man in front of the river. God damn it. Um, guess I'll go, uh, oh shit, no. My courage is up now. It is Hello. time. Good day, you son. Nice timing. I was about to go see you. Why don't we go to the other world? I want to investigate. How about we fucking, how about we don't? So that's so. Hello. Good day. Nice timing. Really? You just want to go to the other world? Oh my god, you don't want to hang out at all. Never mind, Naoto. Uh, but my courage is up there. I'm a sage, damn it. Alright, I guess I'll just... I'm sad now. I guess I'll just go eat food. Give me my goddamn... Oh, actually, before I do this... Let me actually see if there's some books I can buy for diligence. Good man, this is courage, don't need it. Understanding, courage, courage, oh, diligence. Expression. Only got one book for diligence? Are you fucking kidding me? For real? Okay. What day is it in the game? It is 10-12. Ghost stories is great for when you work at the hospital. Yeah, but I my courage is already maxed out. So I don't need it. I just need... Diligence is the only one that's like one point from being maxed out. Understanding? Diligence? Diligence? Yes. Thank you. That's all I wanted. Ghost Stories is a fun dub to watch as well. <laughs> Imagine you're being chased by a black guy! Welcome back! <laughs> well, at least we know he's not racist. <laughs> like, damn it. Oh, we got nice shoes. Nice. Yeah, let me check my stats real quick. Yeah, Diligence is the only one. And since it's nighttime now, and I don't feel like talking to shoe. 
uh, boost Aya's bonus. Oh yeah, it was in there. But I know that there's no point in me reading it because because Aya is such like a is such like a um what's the word I'm looking for suspicious thing suspicious what the fuck specific it's such a, a specific like thing that honestly I rather use the time to just read the book and like do some envelopes or some shit. Midterm starts tomorrow, but I feel so lazy. I can't believe- Oh, you can also work at the pub at night. The pub. Why did I call it the pub? Well, it is a pub, technically. Um, but at the old lady's place, you can wash dishes at night. I think that raises your diligence as well and get some money for it. I can't believe you're on- You're so hardcore about studying for the exam, senpai. Are you sure you're gonna need to know all that stuff in the future? Well, you probably won't. By the way, would you not say the word lazy around me, especially this early in the morning? Whatever. At their exams, we have the cultural festival. They're... <sighs> I've been streaming for like four and a half hours. Jesus fuck, I'm losing my steam. There are more first-year students this year, so the festival could be more fun than it was last year. Um, chicka bow, chicka bow, chicka bow wow. So there's a teacher here who tried to put on uh, put a problem on the test involving a student's bus waist hip measurements. I won't say who, but isn't that just wrong? I mean, who cares about a high school girl's measurements? I didn't like reading that sentence. <laughs> it would have been much more interesting if they were mine, huh? Oh, that really... Mm, I didn't like that one even more. But man, middle-aged dudes are so perverted. I can feel them looking at me in the in the faculty lounge. By the way, speaking of middle-aged men, there's a cute little fish called the Oiji-san. Oiji? I hope that I pronounced that right. Is that a cute name? Too bad there's no fish called the ob the oba the, the Obasan. I guess that will become I guess that was because no matter how old we get, women are still women. Oh, Yuku, you were listening to what I just said. Against my will, yes. What kind of fish was I just talking about? I'm glad you were listening to me. It's actually named the goatfish, but it's commonly called the Oji-san. It's called that because it has whiskers and it looks like a middle-aged man. I want you to remember that, so I'll put it in on the test. The test does start tomorrow. Alright. Let's see. Well, it's not raining today, so I'm gonna try talking to that dude down at the riverbank real quick. Because now I fished, I have went, and I grabbed some bugs. So he should, he should start talking to me about his quest. How's goes fishing? God damn it. Hmm. Is it? I'm not crazy. This is the old man we talked to, yeah? Do I have to read the book first or some shit? For this quest to, like, actually be active? Damn it. Head to the shrine and just grab some goddamn some bugs real quick. I'm not crazy, am I? What am I missing? I'm missing something. What I get. Locus, Cricket, Dynamo. Hmm. I don't know. 
is it? Hold up. Let me try something real quick. Let me try something. Let me just save that real quick. And then, uh, wrong button. Head on to the beach. Fish. You only fish with the rod. Alright, cool. Maybe since I haven't tried fishing there yet, it won't activate it. Maybe I can talk to the old man now. How goes the fishing? You asked about a rod. Okay, there we go. And then he goes, oh, you want a fishing rod? Well, first, capture the, uh, capture the goddamn guardian. Bait for the guardian. Let's see, what's it called? It's like shiny bug that only bait will take. I think... Is the jewel beetle for the river guardian? I think the jewel beetle is for the river guardian and the genji beetle is for the is for the um it's for the fucking uh whatchamacallit sea guardian hmm. kanji are you available today you are available but before that i didn't i wasn't really paying attention is naoto over there naoto wanna hang out Thank you for saving me. I apologize, but I have something I want to talk about. The rumor has been a suspicious man who's been spotted in the shopping district. Alright. See if I can find this guy. Maybe I might have to wait a day for him to appear. I think he should be, like, up here. Near the entrance to the shrine, right? Hmm. I guess I gotta wait an extra day for him to appear. It's when I get to the later parts of Persona 4 that I that I start to forget some of the finer details. Yeah, the guy's not here. So I'll give it like a I'll give it like another day. So I guess I'll just go hang out with Kanji then. Hang out with Kanji, make sure to catch bugs later. And then on a rainy day, go grab that damn fish. Alright Kanji, what are we doing? The hill overlooking town. You spend some quiet moments with Kanji. Oh! It didn't rank up, okay. That's fine. Welcome back. It's good to be back. I can tutor tonight. I'm also gonna finish that damn book. Get my goddamn diligence up. That's what I need to do. Ba -ba 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 -ba. This one? Yes. Now I can make envelopes really good. Your second term, midterms. Oh, my midterms. You don't even get the nights on the midterm days, do you? On your test days. Mm -hmm. Oh, morning. Hey, how much studying did you get done after we met? Actually, have you studied at all? <laughs> of course not. What about you? <laughs> Me? How much do you think I would study? <laughs> if I'm gonna die, at least I'm going down fighting. Just like Ri just like Ryoma Sukamoto. Sukamoto. Sakamoto. Wait. Or was that Shin Shinjigumi? I don't know. All I know is I'm gonna go down fighting. I'm gonna go down fighting like fucking like Zack. <laughs> like Zack from Final Fantasy VII. 
You know, unless the dog is different. That's not the stamp I remember. What part of the body contains Adam's apple? Throat. Talking about that mean throat game. Where would you find Japan uh, Jap Japanese? Where would you find Japan on the map? Uh, doo -doo -doo. On the right side. Mm -mm -mm. I'm a sage, damn it. Alright. Shortest war, 40 minutes. Venison, all the above. Oh, we get a break today. That's cool. No, I don't want to hang out with you. I don't know who the hell you are. Hey, it's me. Oh, I definitely don't want to hang out with you today. Hell no. <laughs> Shut up. Study group my ass. I don't need it. Alright. Go into town. First things first, head to the shopping district, see if we can find that weird guy that Naoto's talking about. Looking for a weirdo. Sticks out like a sore thumb. Hi, Rize. Hmm. I don't see a guy. What the hell Nato's on about? Well, since I'm here, grab some bugs. All I need is one. All I need is one. Come on. Damn it. Um, let me see if I can find Naoto hanging out at the riverbank real quick. Naoto, what kind of guy were you talking about? Thought if I waited like a day, they would appear. Oh, you're not here, Naoto. God damn it. Alright, cool. Go into town. Guess, uh... Guess I'll just, um... Hang out with Rize, then. Isn't ready to advance yet. God damn it. Uh -huh. You know, I should have hung out with Kanji. He was ready to advance, but at the same time, I might as well get what I can get with Rize. Welcome back. All right. Head upstairs, I'm gonna start making me some envelopes. There we go. Midterms day three. What is Japanese name for panda black and white bears? Which bird is falsely known for being cowardly in the English phrase to sticking one's head in the sand? An ostrich. I never had an ostrich egg before. I would like to cook one one day. What was the name of the Wasan textbook in the Edo period? It was Math Girl. I'm a fucking genius. Watch me go. Midterms day five. Which is an objective brisk. That is for fall. 
What is dragon's blood? It is plant resin. Tree resin, but plant resin. The last day of exams, you answered every question with ease. The answers seem to be flowing from your hand. Guess who got the top score? Damn it. Uh, it's finally over. Ghost stories are the best when they're set in Korea. Oh man, they got some fucky shit. Was uh was White Day? That's a Korean game, right? I mean, if you want to watch me play White Day, you can always head on to the YouTube channel. I did a stream on that, and, and you know, all that got uploaded, so that's cool. If you're interested, you know, a little self-promotion. Hey, about question eight. Let's see. It was a Korean game. All right. Yeah, no, the thing about White Day, well, at least the remake, I'm, I'm not sure if it was in the original. I haven't played the original. But the remake for White Day, there's like one fuck... There's one puzzle that they have in the game that requires you to know the Korean language and there was like <laughs> and there was like no fucking there was nothing there in the translation to help people who didn't know that so there's like a moment there's a moment in like one of the VODs for my stream where I think I spent about like maybe two or three hours just wandering around sitting there and I keep saying the answer to the problem I'm like this is the answer this is the answer okay and like I'm putting it I'm putting the answer to it because I figured it out because it's not it's not like something you just look up because the answer is different for every copy of the game on top of it on top of you having to know the kanji exactly right so when I figured it out I deciphered it I was like this is the answer and then I want like because I, because I got so focused on deciphering the fucking kanji, I walked over to like a padlock in the room or something like that, and then for like a whole hour or so, I just keep inputting it, and I'm like, did I get it wrong? What's going on? It's not working. And then I pull out the memo again, and I reread it, and it's like, oh, I'm putting the code in at the wrong place. I gotta put it on the door. I just wasted three hours of your time. Thank you very much. <laughs> Oh man. Other than that, White Day was fun though. I like playing it. And I was playing it for Christmas, so I was running around with the Christmas outfits. And then I ended up scaring myself because I opened the fucking bathroom door and there's like a mirror that's right there in front of the bathroom door. And I was and I just got scared because I opened it and I just saw my reflection and I'm just sitting there in a Santa suit and I got fucking terrified. Thought I was talking about one of the school answers. Yeah, it's, um, it's like you head into one of the rooms and, like, on the chalkboard, you're supposed to turn the lights off and take, like, your fucking, your lighter to it or some bullshit, and then you look at the chalkboard, it's like, what was it, like, invisible chalk or some bullshit? I don't remember. But I remember just, like, wasting three hours on that because I was just, I had the answer, but I was putting it in the wrong spot. I pulled an all-nighter last night. So I'm ready to collapse any second now. Meanwhile, I was getting chased by a home. fucking reindeer. See you later. At long last, the midterms are finally over. All right. So let's see if we can find Naoto real quick. <clears throat> Naoto. Naoto. Oh shit! You're not here. God damn it. I'm still looking around for the guy that Nato was talking about. I think Nato has to be like active for him to show up. Cause I'm pretty sure the guy like hangs around over here or some shit like that, so. Hmm. Whatever. Back to the shrine. <clears throat> Back to the shrine where I can catch my bugs. Come on, Inaba Jewel Beetle, or whatever the hell it is that I need. It's at the very entrance of the north. Ah, Inaba Jewel Beetle. 
It's all I needed. Just need one. Yeah, is at the very entrance of the North District. Yeah, dude's not showing up though. And I think that's because Naoto's not in play. I think you're supposed to talk to Naoto and then the next day when Naoto's active, the person shows up. If he's not showing up, then it's not time. Really? It's gotta be time for him? Really? I thought Naoto was one of those weird ones where it's like, oh, you have to initiate it. Kind of like with Kanji. Where it's like, you gotta initiate that shit instead of having them have like a moment. Alright. So, I grabbed, I grabbed the jewel beetle. Head back to the school. Who wants to hang out with me? Kanji, are you available? It's not time to start Naoto social link yet. Fuck, man. Kanji! Hang out with me, buddy. Seems Kanji called the boy here. Here you go. Kanji placed a bunch of knitted dolls on the table, each one with different clothing and accessories. They're very elaborate. I can have these? Yeah, if you don't if you don't need them, I guess I could just toss. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh yeah, mom said you should at least be paid for the materials she So she gave me some money. I said I don't need it. I look <clears throat> Damn it. I look like I'm in for this for the money to you? Maybe. Mister, you're from Tatsumi Textiles, right? Oh, uh, nothing. Oh, big bro! Nanako! Nanako, you're my favorite. Oh. oh, dolls! These are so cute! What are these? Uh, well... This man made them. <laughs> they spend so much time with this kid and he still doesn't have a fucking name. <sighs> she looked straight at me when she said, this man. <laughs> Hey, Nanako-chan. Don't go around telling everybody, okay? It's kind of embarrassing. Why? I think it's cool you can make things like this. I want to learn how to make them too. Oh, uh, well, maybe next time. That's okay with you, big bro. <laughs> Don't go- I'm not your bro, guy. <laughs> not your buddy, pal. I'll learn too, why not? Hell? Me? Teach you. I ain't that good at teaching. Oh, on my way I was on my way to Amy Chan's house. Teach me next time. Bye. I'm gonna show these to mom. Thank you, mister. Senpai. I think I I literally like I <laughs> I got distracted for a second because I looked up and I just started looking at the buildings in the background. And I was like, I never noticed those before. I think I kind of understand now a little anyways. About what strength really means. I used to think it was doing what needed to be done like a man. So I thought for me, that was a... I thought... Well, blah, 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 blah. So I thought for me, that was catching this damn killer. I mean, that's important too, but... There's something else I gotta confront too, ain't there? Your past. My past. Yeah. I still ain't snapped out of it. The stuff that other me said inside the TV world. That girl I made cry a long time ago. I haven't gotten past any of it. Kanji's muttering to himself. It ain't that easy to become strong, is it? Kanji is looking far into the distance with the with the relieved look on his face. His face shines with the gentleness you've never seen before from him. Oh my god, that's only rank 7. Holy shit. Damn it, Kanji. I'm taking off. Mom's, mom saw the stuff I made. She's been hassling me about selling them at the shop. 
hell's the textile shop gonna do with stuff that's already been knitted? Despite his words, Kaji seems happily embarrassed. Later. I like Kaji social link, but Jesus fuck, it feels like I've been doing this shit forever. Can I start it tomorrow? What do you mean by that? I'm home. Hi, Nanako. I made it home before you. Oh, welcome back. There was a letter in the mailbox for you. Oh, I can start Nato stuff tomorrow? Oh, is it after the event? Oh, shit. <laughs> the letter is addressed to Mr. Yunarakami, but the sender's name on the address are nowhere to be found. On the 21st, all right. There's only one sentence printed. Don't rescue anymore. Is it from a friend? It's from a very close friend. Oh, my show is almost done. Don't rescue anymore. Could this be a warning from the killer? Or is it just a prank? How the fuck is that a prank? It'll only be a prank by the people who know about it, right? You should discuss this with the group tomorrow. Like, come on, Yosuke, did you pull this shit? I'll protect you all from the madness of this world. I'll take you to a place where you can be at peace. Yes. It's much more peaceful than here. You showed everyone the letter you received yesterday. Don't rescue anymore. Is this a warning? I mean, it has to be. No punctuation or capitalization. Aw, oh, what a cliche. Spell cliche, Chie. Ain't this just a prank? The kind of stuff that only happens in the movies? Did you show this to your uncle? Fuck no. What are you, stupid? I don't plan to. Senpai, Dojima-san is trustworthy. But it may be best to keep this to ourselves. I know he's trustworthy, but my guy. <laughs> Have you lived my life? He will ask why you received such a letter, and if he were to put you under surveillance, our hands would be tied. Don't worry, Nato. It's not like I'm ever gonna show him the letter or open it in front of him or anything like that. If this letter is real, what's most important isn't what it says. It's the fact that it was delivered to the Dojima residence, addressed directly to you. This means the culprit knows in great detail who has been interfering with his crimes. And of all of us, he chose to deliver his message to the Dojima residence, home of a police detective. I'd have this letter checked at a crime lab if I could, but even then I doubt they'd find anything. The text is a warning, while the subtext expresses the culprit's confidence that we can't use it to pinpoint his identity. So it's useless to tell the police. In fact, that would make things worse. Cross your fingers, it's just a prank. How is it a prank? I think the chances of that are slim. This message is too specific, too perfect to be a prank. But how could the killer know so much about us? Could he be watching us from somewhere? I mean, the midnight channel is on at night and, oh well, we don't go into the TV at night, so I guess people wouldn't be watching. But at the same time, you know, our faces have been shown. Teddy's been saying for a while that when we're over there, he senses someone watching us. Wait. Every time we went to the other side to rescue someone, did we end up on the Midnight Channel ourselves? Not unless you went there at midnight, which I highly doubt. I don't know. It seems like no one else knows what we're doing. I haven't heard any rumors about us at school. Even the people who I know check that channel haven't said anything. The only gossip I heard was about the people who disappeared. 
I see. Come to think of it, how the Midnight Channel works is still a mystery. Let's put aside for now the matter of what that world truly is. There's too little data to go on. For now, we need to keep in mind that the culprit knows who we are. As long as we're all aware of that, it will be enough for now. Yeah, guess there's no use thinking about stuff we can't understand. Freaking out over speculation is just what the killer wants us to do, right? You're right, Yosuke. I would never question you. Yeah. You told the others, we'll have to wait until the situation changes. All right. Mind if I change the subject then? Sure. The culture festival's just around the corner. What's our class doing again? Oh yeah, it hasn't been decided yet, huh? I heard we'll be voting on it soon, but aren't they still gathering ideas? Whoa, I think Yosuke just got hit with a bolt of inspiration. Whatever it is, it'll be out there. I'd bet my lunch on it. Whatever it is, it'll be super horny. Hey senpai, have you decided who you'll be going around the campus with during the festival? My schedule's still wide open, you lucky guy. You're dangerous. You're bad for my health. Oh, she just had to say something. Classes have ended for today. Was that warning? A, was that warning letter a prank? However, because you have no leads, you have no choice but to wait until something occurs. Alright, let me check. The time, actually. Yeah, I definitely, definitely had it going for an extra hour, so this is a nice stopping point, right? We're, uh, we're a bit away. A bit away until stuff starts popping off. You know, we're in the, we're in the, we're in the third trimester here. Getting it all ready, getting it all going. But, unfortunately, that's all the time I have for today's stream. So, here's what's going to happen, right? Next time we come back with more Persona 4, that won't be until... Oh, by the way, I'm, I'm going by uh, Eastern Standard Time. So, you know, EST, if you, if you care about the time zones and stuff like that, fucking work your magic, right? So, it won't be until next week, um, I mean, it's gonna be on the Twitch schedule, I'm gonna edit that, but it won't be until next week, uh, Monday night, well, Monday night until, into Tuesday morning, right? So, like, midnight, around Monday, you know. So, that's when we'll come back for the stream. Until then... I'm just going to be uploading stuff on the YouTube page, which is right there on the screen if you care about that stuff. Um, right now, just uploading, up, uh, finishing the the uh, Nightmare Before Christmas playthrough and doing the Pokemon Marathon, playing red and blue at the current moment. And then whenever I have time, I'm just going to start uploading a bunch of fucking streams that I have like just sitting there, either a playthroughs that weren't finished yet or just you know, current playthroughs, like Persona itself, so I'll probably upload the, uh, VODs for Persona 4. But, yep, that's gonna be that, right? So, if you like what you saw here live, first of all, thank you for watching live, I greatly appreciate it, it's fun talking with you guys, I have fun doing it. If you liked it, leave a follow, you know, if you want, you can subscribe, but since I'm not, like, since I don't have a regular schedule or anything like that, I don't recommend doing it until, you know, I get to a point where I do do this maybe like four times a week or something like that. So, but if you want to do that, that's there. That's an option. I am affiliated. You could do it. So that's it for Twitch. You know, if you got any friends or family you want to share it with and you're like, hey, you, you're looking for someone to watch and then try this. Maybe you'll like it. Maybe you won't. Maybe you'll hate his guts. I don't, I don't know. Whatever. If you're watching it on YouTube and you're not subscribed, 
click that button, click the bell for notifications, and if you like what you see, click the like button because that helps out a lot. It helps, uh, you know, with the algorithm and all that bullshit. And that's pretty much it for me. Other than that, my Twitter is right there on the screen. And, you know, from time to time, I just post some stuff, post some ideas. You don't have to agree with me on them. I don't care. <laughs> right? But, until then, once again, I like to say thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Stay happy, stay healthy, and take care. Take off.